Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are an IT professional who wants to enhance their skills into the cloud world or a fresher who is who wants to level up his skills by learning the cloud or a non-IT person who wants to step into the IT world by learning the cloud, then I have a good news for you. Back in 2020, when I was knowing nothing about the cloud and was keen interested in learning the cloud, especially provided by the Microsoft name as Azure, at that time, there were very limited courses available on Udemy, which will help me to kick off my journey into the Azure. But with the growing demand and the IT industry, not only IT industry, I would say the manufacturing industry and a couple of other industries who are opting their infrastructure on the cloud and especially the Azure, today there are a lot of courses available on Udemy by different instructor. But in today's video, I'm just going to talk about the five hand-picked Udemy courses, which will help you to kickstart your journey into the Azure uh, cloud by learning their fundamentals. Before we take a depth dive into that, let's first understand the roadmap outlined by the Microsoft. So let's get into that. So here we are. Want to get started with the Microsoft Azure and you are a new baby, then here are the list of courses offered by Microsoft. If you want, if you are already into an IT professional or a new uh, person who wants to learn the cloud or uh, a fresher who wants to level up his skills into the cloud, then you have something called as an Azure Fundamentals. If you are keen interested to learn about the IDDD and identity fundamentals, then you have SE100. If you are already into the data analytics world or a data science world or a fresher who is working as a data analyst, then you have something called as the Azure Data Fundamentals. If you are keen interested to learn about the artificial intelligence but specific to the Azure cloud, then you have something called as a Azure AI Fundamentals, which we call it as a AI 900. Once, uh, say for an example, you are already an experience and now you directly want to skip the fundamentals and get into an associate level certificate, then you have something called as a Azure Administrator, which is AZ104. You also have something called as a Azure Developer. If you are a Java developer, Oracle-based developer, or any kind of developer and want to level up his skills into the development world by learning the cloud, then you have the Azure developer as one of your course. Now, if I want to be a cloud architect or a DevOps engineer, then no worries. The uh, Microsoft has that for you. And it is nothing but Microsoft Azure Solution Architect, which is AZ305. And if you want to level up into a DevOps engineer or an SRE engineer, then you have something called as Microsoft DevOps engineer, which is AZ400. If you want to be, as I mentioned, a data scientist or a security, a data security or AI guy, then don't worry. Microsoft has a certificate for you, that for you and with a specifically with the Azure, right? Um, which is the Azure database administrator, which is DP300. Say for an example, you're already working as a DBA, um, a DBA on the non-premise uh, um, or a data center uh, infrastructure. And now you have given a responsibility to move that on-premise or data center to the cloud, then you 
can opt for this where it will help you to uh, understand how you can migrate your database from on-premise to the cloud and what are security things you need to be considered for that. If you are already a, already a data analyst and want to get into the step of the um, cloud, uh, then you have something called as a Azure Data Engineer. And I would say you can, if you already an experience, I would still say that go ahead and get yourself Azure Data Fundamentals and then you can step into a data engineering um, certification. If you are already, um, as I mentioned, a senior data analyst or working as a data scientist, then you are um, Microsoft Azure has a certificate for that, which is Azure Data Scientist, which is DP100. Now, once you have done all these associate neighbor, now you want to get a security expertise, uh, expertise kind of thing. You are already into a networking and security. We also have the network engineering, but you are still into uh, a security kind of domain. Then you have something called has a security operations analyst, which is SC200. You have identity access administrator. You have a job security engineer, which is AZ500. But still, I would recommend before you get into this, get yourself a um, security compliance and identity fundamental certificate, which will help you to prepare yourself for all these things. Still, you are not sure what you want to do and you are from a networking background, then you have something called as a Azure Network Engineer, which is AZ700. And you also have something called as a AI if you are already into an AI domain, which is AI102. Once you have done all this associate level, then you have something called as a cybersecurity architect. If you are keen, interested to get yourself more familiar, not satisfied with the associate level and want to get into more expert level, then you have something called as a cybersecurity architect. So that's what is the uh, roadmap outlined by the Microsoft, which will help you to kickstart your journey with the Microsoft Azure. In today's video, we are just going to focus on Azure fundamentals. In the upcoming videos, I would share what are the um, courses available for uh, getting yourself uh, security compliance and identity fundamentals, data fundamentals, AI fundamentals. But today's video, we will be just focusing on the uh, list of Udemy courses available specific to AZ900. So without any delay, let's get started. Before we take into a depth dive on the top five Udemy courses available <coughs> or handpicked by me. Let's understand what skills are required for this certification or what this certification offers you or prepares you for. So the first uh, thing this certificate will offer you or make you understand the cloud concepts, then it will help you or focuses on the core Azure services. The third part is the Azure pricing and the support, which is planning and managing the cost, Azure service level agreements, Azure support operations, Azure subscriptions. It will also help you to know the basic understanding of security, privacy, compliance, and the trust. So these contents are covered when you're preparing yourself for the AZ-900 and the, those courses on Udemy will help you to learn or prepare yourself for the AZ-900 by touching base not only walking theoretically, but also showing the practical demo on all these topics. So let's get directly into the first course offered or hand picked up by me on the Udemy.
So here is my first hand pick uh, course, none other than by Scott Diffie. And if you see, it has the rating 4.6. So what you can expect from this course is learning the main concepts of cloud computing. Also, it will help you to understand what services and solutions offered by Azure. Let's get down into more. This is around 7.5 hours of learning course and it also has a downloadable file so you can download and uh, read anytime. What is the beauty of this course is it has the two practice tests. So once you have um, gone through all the videos offered by this course, you can practice yourself to test how much you have understand um, the concept and what are your weak points because with these two practice tests it helps you to understand if you have picked the wrong answer why you have picked that answer or why this answer is the correct um, so that's what this course offers you so let's go down and look at the course content so it has an introduction which is with every course it going to basically it has around five lectures uh, of which is around of 28 minutes and it's going to talk about the cloud computing public cloud private cloud um, exact what are the res shared responsibility by uh, a client and the microsoft okay and then it will have a small quiz uh, on understanding this uh, what how much you have understand the cloud computing cloud pricing what is public cloud private cloud shared responsibility then this course has around eight lectures which is approximately 50 minutes it's going to talk about the benefits of cloud computing right so and definitely it would again have the small quiz um, also this course covers about the cloud service types um, core architecture components of azure remember that has 20 to 35 percent weightage um, then it has the networking services azure compute uh, azure storage and then we have something called as identity access and security also, it has the cost management, which is 15 to 20 percent, I guess. Um, it will also cover on the Azure governance and compliance. And finally, um, it has 50 question practice test, um, which will help you to prepare yourself uh, for the AZ 900 certificates. So that's what is offered in this course. Back in 2020, this course was available on Udemy and I have opt for that and it really helped me to prepare myself for the AZ 900 fundamental uh, exam. And that's why this course still holds the top position in my uh, 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 in my. Uh, hand-picked five Udemy courses. Moving to the next one, let's quickly go into the that. The second hand-picked course by me is none other than by Ranga. And this course has around 4.6 rating on the Udemy. And what this course provides is bonus 13 quizzes and one practice test and a down, downable PDF so that you can download on your mobile or a laptop and read anytime. So that's what this uh, course provides. And it uh, we can see that it is around 8.5 hours of course. And definitely it has a certificate of uh, completion. Let's uh, go down a bit and understand the course content. So it will have an introduction to Azure uh, uh, certification, uh, course overview, what you will be learning and other stuff. So it has, uh, this course basically covers on the uh, reasons and availability zone, what is different between a reason and availability zone, why you need that. And then it will have a small quiz. It also talks about the virtual machines. What are the virtual machines? How you can create your first virtual machine in Azure. It will also help you uh, talk about how to create your first uh, 
account in the Azure. So that's what it, this go uh, this. Um, um, a content talk about which is Azure uh, virtual machine. Then this course also has the managed compute services offered by Azure. Um, so it will talk about uh, PaaS, SaaS, and IAS uh, services. Then um, also it's going to talk about the container orchestration, uh, talk about a little bit on serverless, Azure functions, uh, and then it's going to go into the depth of Azure compute services offered by Azure. Then this course also has a depth uh, coverage on Azure storage, uh, Azure databases, networking, Azure resource hierarchy, identity management, which is another important concept, uh, compliance, privacy, and little bit, it's going to talk about the DevOps fundamentals. And finally, it's going to have a practice test, which will prepare or get yourself ready for the AZ-900 certification. So that's what this course talks about. So the third course or the third hand-picked course by me is none other than the course by Alan and it has around same 4.6 uh, rating. But what this course offers or gives you a basic understanding on different services like Azure functions, Azure web apps. It also helps you to understand the storage options such as Blob, SQL Server. And finally, it prepares you for the AZ-900 with two practice tests in it. It is a 14.5 hours course and it has seven down, uh, downloadable uh, resources which you can download on your mobile or a laptop and refer it anytime. So this course also talks about how to create your first uh, Azure free account, uh, talks about the Azure architecture services, networking, storage, databases, identity access. Uh, and finally, it has a practice session, which uh, are around 100 questions in the first practice test. And second, it has uh, 91 questions. So overall, you are getting 191 questions, which will definitely help you or prepare you and give a confidence for the AZ-900 certification exam on the main day. Also, this certification, one beauty of this practice test is if you're selecting a wrong answer, it will give you the uh, detailed description that why you should select this answer or why this answer is the right answer for this question. So that's what this course offers about. Moving to our fourth course is none other than by John Christopher, and it has 4.7 ratings. And uh, what's well, it's it's going to basically help you with the hands-on stimulations, which you can uh, have any time once you have purchased this course. So this is around 9.5 hours of course, and it has some assize, uh, assessments, um, or I would say assignments, uh, which will help you uh, to prepare yourself for the AZ-900 certification exam. Um, so pretty much it covers all the sessions like hands-on session, cloud computing, benefits of cloud services, service types, uh, storage, cost management, and then it also has a bonus le uh, lecture. And definitely you get the last course on my uh, Phi Udemy handpick course is none other than by Saurav Gupta. This is something new course which was not available back in 2020 uh, by this instructor, but this instructor walks you through each and every thing into a detail like Azure, um, Azure compute co concepts, Azure networking, managing configuration and tools, identity services, Azure security, database service, cloud governance, monitoring, storage service, uh, architecture concepts. And this course is, uh, um, is, uh, uh, um, 
has the free ebooks available so you can download anytime uh, and a ppt as well right so you can download on your mobile and you can start accessing that so that's that's what this course is and uh, i have gone through this course and it really helped uh, it really helped me to brush up my concepts um, also at at end of the day it has some bonus session which is just uh, 17 seconds you can go through it um, and definitely you get a uh, uh, a your certification uh, uh, once you complete this uh, course, which is uh, uh, by Udemy, right? So that's 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 what this course covers about. Now you might be having a second thought in your mind that uh, we have gone through the. Uh, thank you for walking us through the uh, top five Udemy courses, which is available on Udemy. But now, once I have prepared this course, what? What is the next step? How can I uh, taste my knowledge? So don't worry, I have the top three or top four picked practice tests which will help you to taste your knowledge on the Azure uh, fundamentals, which is none other than AZ900. So getting that in a bet. So here is the first practice test offered by Amandeep. And this uh, uh, practice test has around six tests, which is 80 to 85 questions with each practice test. And this will definitely help you to prepare or make you a master in a um, before even sitting for the exam AZ 9, um, 900 on the main day. Uh, the beauty of this course is with each practice test, um, if you select some wrong answers, you get a detailed description as why this answer is wrong and why should you pick the right, uh, this answer out of the four options available and why that answer is the right to the question. So that's what this question has. And also this um, course has around 165 pages notes in the PDF format, which you can download and um, do the pressure before you sit for the main exam. So the second practice test in my list is, uh, which is having five rating and it's the highest rated on the Udemy and it has around five practice test which is between 40 to 50 of, of 40 to 50 questions and this course uh, will help you to prepare yourself for the az 900 certification so that's the second course in my list and the last practice test which is on my list is which is none other than by Rajiv Menon. And this also has the five rating on the Udemy. It has the five practice tests, 60 questions each in practice test, which is around 300 questions, which will prepare you for the AZ 900 certification exam. I, I hope the, this information was useful and will help you to prepare yourself for the AZ900 certification. If you have liked this video, kindly do subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not hit the like button and forget to hit the no, uh, bell icon to get notified whenever I upload such videos. Kindly do share with your friends and do watch my playlist on DevOps, Linux, um, also on the cloud journey as how I have prepared myself for AZ900, DP900, um, AWS Cloud Practitioner exam and couple of other things. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.